you walk in, you see your name on the on the marquee. What is what is that? Feel? I mean, a lot of people don't Crazy. have that opportunity. What does that feel like? It's insane. It's insane. It's, it's like a, it's a it's a it's a dream. You know, uh, yeah. when I was little, uh, Michael was the reason why I started performing, and so to be able to play him on Broadway, and it's like you know bigger than anything I could have ever imagined uh, growing up. And even like the 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 poster of me on the door, like it's just it's surreal. Like it's insane to be here on Broadway doing this. It's like, yeah, it's a dream. So is this the door you enter every day? Yes, it's the stage door. <laughs> My face right here is, is that beautiful. So you know where you're going? Yeah, yeah. It's, just, just it's actually just for me, just to make sure that I know. To like, oh, right, this, this is what I'm doing and everything. Great. So you know, what it's all that out for me. Feel like it's insane. It's insane. It's also very funny too because the makeup and the hair and the wig and everything. Yeah. When I come out, people kind of don't recognize me. So oh they're like, God. "Are you Michael?" And I'm like, "Yeah, it's, it's me. That's me doing the thing." You grew up kind of just surrounded by his music, surrounded by everything Michael. Talk a little bit about where that all began for you. I think it was around your dad responsible. Yeah, yeah. I think my dad just kind of introduced me. I was around the time when Chris Brown came out, and I saw him, him dancing and singing, and I was like amazed. And then my dad kind of gave me an education just of all the, the the greats. But Michael was one I gravitated to the most. And yeah, just kind of I would perform around Detroit at different talent shows, doing Jackson Five songs. Like, that's what I would do. Wow. I have a little fedora on. That's how I got my start. Yeah, but it kind of just captivated me. I, I really was inspired by his movement, his intention all the things that, you know, why we love Michael. And it really just, I mean, it, it's, yeah, the reason why I started doing what I do now. How do you get into his mindset every night before you hit the stage? Is it the music? Is it the, do you have to really sit into the mindset or is it easy to do? Uh, I think the more you do it, the easier it gets, but it's always still like refocusing and just making sure that like, I think I'm talking about like magic, like making sure that like, that's the forefront of the performance of the intention and all that, cause that's how he was and make sure that every night you give it your all cause Michael uh, gave it his all every time he performed. Does it shift every, I don't know, every few weeks or something, the area of the show that you like the best or the, the song that you uh, feel most into where you feel like your magic is coming through? It feels like it's a boring answer, but it's not. I mean, my no, favorite it's is it's, it's Beat It because it's the first thing that I do, I step on stage and I think more than anything, when people come to see the show, they're like, okay, what's the Michael come through? Like, what's this right, guy's vibe? What's, right. what's going to be on? And I think it's interesting. I, I can tell from the applause I get when I first come out what the, the crowd's going to be and what I should give and all that. So I think by the end of that number, they are like, okay, cool, we're in safe hands, this kid is good, what's the show about? And, and I love seeing the little faces just light up and it's, it's yeah, it's, it's a- You set the stage. Yeah, Speed it, set, set, the stage. set the tone, all that. And so it's for me, it's, it's, it's a highlight, I think, of the show. So before uh, MJ the Musical, there was The Lion King yes. on tour. Yes. But what was that? that? That had to be good. You were younger, Yeah, right? I, was, I was 10. I was 10, 10, 11 years old, which is so interesting because uh, the Little Michaels in our show are 10, 11. So it's like kind of looking like into a mirror in that way also, seeing my, my beginnings. Um, it was fantastic. I mean, it's, it's so interesting looking back at that time. I, I didn't know so much about myself in the industry and all that, but I knew I loved performing. And that's still the thing that I think I relate to today. Sure. You know, being an adult and kind of navigating my self through not only entertainment, but life. Performance is the thing that I love and I get to do it every night. And I'm still thankful that I get to do it every night. And you were, you were known as a, the Michael Jackson kid though. I when was. you were in Lion, when I was. it was MJ, yes. right? Yeah, that was like my, that we used to like wear a little fedora all the time, like walk around. It was like, it was pretty intense. It was like, it was yeah, like foreshadowing. Like, I mean, it's full circle. I always say that yeah. like, it's it truly was meant to be how it happened like this. Friends, they come here and see you. What do they say? I mean, they love it. It's, I mean, that's one thing It's like awesome to like, be a lead in the role, be Michael Jackson playing. Like it's all, it's insane. It's an amazing show. Like I'm a little biased, but it's, it's great. It's like a really, truly a fantastic show to go see. I think anyone who is a fan of Broadway, fan of theater, not a fan, just a fan of Michael, right. anybody who just comes to see, they really like enjoy themselves.